Hello. Happy Friday. It is Friday and it's amazing and I'm so glad. Um, I don't have to work this weekend so that's really awesome for me. If you're catching this video and there is not a red square that says live, that means this video is no longer live and this is the replay which is still awesome. Leave me a comment below if you have questions or comments or thoughts. Give us a heart and a like. Um, and share this video if you want to help me out. Let me reach your friends. So I wanted to do a few holiday looks for y'all this season. So um, we're going to start with something simple and fun and easy for um, Thanksgiving coming next week, which is super early, right? Like I just feels like Thanksgiving's supposed to be like the 27th and it's really not. It's the 22nd is crazy seems crazy I don't know it's probably not but it feels really early to me so anyways um, we're gonna do a nice warm eye and let's see I'm gonna wait just a one second I'm gonna share this video then I'm gonna pop back with you and tell you what we're doing what are you guys up to let me know what you're what are you doing for the thanksgiving holiday i feel like i can't see when my brightness is down hold on that usually happens to me no it's not down all right that's cool it's fine um what are you doing for thanksgiving my family we stay here um luckily for us most of my family lives in the springs so we don't really have to go anywhere we don't have like a traveling holiday schedule so we will be here having an awesome Thanksgiving with my family, my mom, and um, some other relatives. So let's see, share, share on my page. Is that how we're going to do this? Yes. All right. Mm. Let's see. How do I? So sorry, guys. I know this always takes like way too much time when I do it this way, but we're doing it anyway. Let's see if that works. All right. Okay. So anyways, so there's the cool thing about eyeshadow is there's multiple ways to put it on. So my usual, which helps widen your eye, especially when you, if you have eyes like I do where they, um, so you can see my lid here. And then it kind of gets a little bit smaller down here where the skin gets a little bit like like this. Um, I, so I usually bring my eyeshadow up and above that around here. And it goes, you know, the darkest part is right in here. And then this is really bright to brighten up my eyes. And then I keep this kind of the neutral in between. And that's really fun. And you can do that with multiple colors. You can do four, five, six. Depends how much layering and how much color you really want to see. Um... But today we're going to do something fun, which is going to be like a pop of light right in the middle. So we're going to do dark here, dark here. We're going to kind of blend it across the top with an in-between color. And we're going to do a pop of light right in the center. So, um, all right, let's do that. Let's just do it. This is the um, eyeshadow palette that I have put together for myself. I keep kind of my darker more smoky colors separated from that on the top. So we're gonna dive into this today and we're gonna use a few of these. I hope you can see this well, there we go. So we're probably gonna use Kin, that one's awesome. This is gilded, it's very popular. So you can kind of see there's a little shimmer in those. Okay, um, this is Zion, one of my favorite colors for fall that I've been using a lot, a lot. And this is Bubba, which is a great like neutral light color. And then if you can tell, depending on if you're a shimmer person, this is Sabrina, it has shimmer. And this is, oh my gosh, I always forget the name of the one that doesn't have shimmer, it's next to it, Cupcake. Yes, Cupcake. So no shimmer, but a nice light color. So we're gonna go shimmer. It's Thanksgiving after all, it's getting to the holidays. Everything should have glitter in my opinion right now. <laughs> I mean, although I kind of feel like everything should have glitter all year round, so. All right, I do try to control myself with glitter, unless it's this time of year though, so. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my lids. So I already have my face makeup on. I did my, my 30 second hack 
Um, took me longer with my brows, of course. All right. So this is, I like to use this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer sometimes. When I'm trying to get like a very like bold eye, eye look, I want to make sure that my eyeshadow is deep and true to tone. And you can use your mascara illuminator color to do this as well. It works great. And I'm going to put that right into here because I am going to go back and put some eyeshadow underneath my eye toward the end of this. So, one thing to note is that you want to be careful. If you've already done your face makeup, you don't want your eyeshadow to drop down here, right? So we're going to be careful. I have a piece of paper in case I decide to use a dark color and I want to make sure that it doesn't fall down here. I also have this in case I want to be real careful, but I don't think we're going to use any blacks or anything today, so we're not going to worry about that. All right. Where's all my brushes? That is the question. Here we go. Okay, got it. Okay, this is my eyeshadow everything brush. So we are going to start here. We're going to use this fluffy side because we want to just spread the lightest color everywhere for now. So I'm going to go in with Cupcake. Just a little nice light color. I'm going to make sure we prep the center of the eye with that. Okay, if you have a fluffy um, powder brush, it's a good thing to keep with you because if you have some fallout underneath your eyes, you can just quickly um, brush it off real quick. Where it settles or anything so all right so that's our light color and I'm just patting that in just to get a nice um, light base now what we want to make sure we do is try not to cover the center of the eye where we just really want the light color to go with anything else so we're going to be careful around that so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take the um, smaller side of my brush and I am going to put that into Bubba, which I'll show you again, is this one right here. Okay, so it's still a nice light color, but it does have a slight warm orangey hue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pat that all around here and right in here. But see how I'm keeping away from the center of the eye? Important, very important for this look, okay? Same thing here, we're gonna take, I dipped my brush back in, and I'm gonna pat that right up around the crease. If you have hooded eyes like me, what I'm doing is I'm going right above the crease of my eye so you can see how it's above there, it's not actually inside. And that's so that when my eyes open, you're gonna be able to see that color. So we wanna make sure that color is visible. If you have um, gray eyes where you, you don't have this like kind of crease, then you're just gonna press this right into the, where it feels like the socket of your eye kind of dips. Okay, hopefully that helps you. Um, all right, so once that's in, I'm just wiping my brush off a little bit, <clears throat> getting the extra powder off this. I'm gonna go back with the fluffy side. We're gonna do a little blending as we go. So we wanna make sure we don't have too much on here. So we're just gonna tap that, give it a little swirl. And same in here, just make sure you're keeping it away from where we want that light to be. All right, and same over here. All right. If you're just popping on feel free to leave a comment let me know you're here so I don't always talk to myself okay all right so we've got Bubba and we've got cupcake on there right now now for some people that might be good enough for you and you could just swirl and put them together but we are gonna keep going yes we are okay so I'm gonna use the skinny side of my brush again Make sure that you know it's clear from a lot of that other powder. 
and I'm going to zip, dip it in a slightly darker, warmer color. This is Zion. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's like a brick or red orange, you know, like the, the crayon. Everybody, I don't know, probably somebody like that. I was always confused by that crayon. I was like, why do I need this not red, not orange color? What is this good for? Well, now we know, guys. It's good for eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so I'm just putting that right out here, and I'm going to lightly swirl it around. Now, all of these colors will be out by Black Friday. Some of them may be out right now because we had a limited release of eyeshadows at eight bucks yesterday, and some are still available. And I think Sabrina was low stock, but possibly still on there. Kin was still on there last time I checked, so get in there, girls, if you want it. You could always have a party and then you can um, earn yourself a half price palette so you can just buy your eyeshadows as you feel like it but then get a big um, holder for them and just use it as your half price item which is pretty cool okay so we've darkened that a little bit we've warmed it up with a slightly orange color we just want to make sure too that we don't have any um, spots so every once in a while when you look at your eyes you'll see oh there looks like there's you know, like a missing piece right here, just tap your brush in there. Just tap it in, fill that right back in. Easy. It's really easy, especially if you've laid your base color like we did with um, Cupcake. When we started, we put that down. What that did was give us a really smooth surface to blend our eyeshadows back and forth and make sure that they are easy to um, melt together, okay? All right, so this is where it gets fun. We're going to get into a dark color. So you can use this, and again, just make sure you've brushed it off really well. All right, and we're going to tap that into. So here's where you got to decide do you want to do kin? Do you want to do gilded? What color are you feeling today? What color am I feeling? Hey, Michelle. So I really think kin is going to be the most dramatic. This is going to be more of a brown, you know, with shimmer, and this is more of a, um, um, you know, a maroon with shimmer, but still shimmer. So we're going to lose a little bit. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You know what? I may be lying, and it may just have shimmer in it because, no, because I've dripped other shadows in it. I'm actually not positive on that. So what happens when you use them all the time and they just get all over each other but I'm pretty sure there's a little in there so kin on the edge of my eyeshadow brush the skinny side and the purpose for that is because we want to be very careful about where we are placing this you do not want to look like you have a black eye let's do this guys so we're gonna tap that into this corner and we're not gonna bring it in over the light in the middle I'm dipping it back in and I'm tapping it in here, which seems counterproductive, but it looks really cool, guys. Stick with me, stick with me. Okay, check that out. I'm gonna do it on the other side. So, I'm one of those people that like has to eat all of one thing before I'll eat another. I feel like that's how I do my eyeshadow too. So I'll I'll do each color on both sides before I move along. So I'm not blending this until it's on both parts, right? So that looks really crazy. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tap that in with the fluffy side very carefully. Again, being careful not to get that where we were keeping our light. And we're gonna go back over our light with a shimmer with the Sabrina, but for now, we're still being careful, okay? if you have a lot of skin around your eyes as we age we just feel like we pull the skin when we use a brush hold your brush really far back make sure you have a very light touch and it's better to just tap as much as you can before you go swiping and then once you do decide to blend to swirl very small very very small swirls instead of windshield wiper motions okay 
So then we're going to tap this side in just make sure that it doesn't look like you just boop, put the color on. See the difference? So now that we've blended, not blended. Oh, I hope the light is okay. All right. What are you up to, Michelle? Are you standing at your table? You probably can't hear me if you are standing at your table. What are you up to, Lene? Happy Friday, guys. I am, once again, I'm just tapping this in. Every once in a while, feel free. You should brush the extra shadow off of your brush so you're not, you know, accidentally dumping it places you don't want it. And again, I am just tapping this color in. This is Kin. I love this color so much. It just makes a gorgeous, like, fall smoky eye. You know, like the typical smoky eye, you've got like browns and grays and blacks. And then you've got this like more elegant type of smoky eye that, um, you know, you can use maroons and oranges and it's so great. So, so great. Okay. So we've tapped that in. We've got like a good blend right there. Quick and easy. Hey Kelly. Nothing exciting, huh? So nothing exciting here too. Killian's really mad about that. He's like, my movie's over. What do I do? It's like, I don't know. Have a snack. Eat. Watch another movie. Okay. All right. So what we want to do is relighten right here in the middle. And we want to make sure there's a blend between this dark, this dark, and uh, where they should connect. So we, we can see that the Zion is still up there in the middle. But once you've brushed your brush off, if you're worried about it, use your brush cleaner. Just give it one spray and just make sure that you're... Um, your shadow brush is clean. If you have multiple, that's even better. I love it when people walk by my window and they see me like talking to my phone and I'm like, hey, see you with your dog. Clean up his poo. Okay, so um, now that my brush is clean, I'm just gonna go right over the top. Now I'm not, I'm not going down there where we're keeping the light color. I'm just lightly blending these together. And I'm holding my brush really far back. So we're not pressing hard. We're not ruining any of the work that we did. And I'm gonna swirl this side. Just so we get like a really smooth transition here. So you wanna keep your eyeshadow in this line. Don't go outside of that. If you do, go back through with your foundation and just cover it right back up. Now, if this is too much for you for during the day, which I understand it is for a lot of people, um, you can do the same thing with different colors. So you could do, what I would do is I would do the same light color and then you might use like, um, um, what is this one? This would be a good one. Oak, so like a, a medium brown. You could still use Bubba, but you could go, then you could go in with this brown. And if you wanted, you could do Finn, like um, a darker brown just right on your outside um, or just like a slightly shimmery brown. And so you would have a lighter version of this but still the same um, technique. So you get that like pop of color right in the middle and then that dark piece in the center. So we're not even, we're not done yet and I'm talking too much. So I'm gonna go back in with my small brush and if you really, really want your color to pop, I didn't bring it out here, but um, use your stay spray, spray your brush and then tap it in your color that you're gonna use. So I'm gonna reapply a light color. So actually I'm going in with Sabrina for the first time because I used Cupcake before to get a matte look. And I'm gonna tap that right here. And I'm gonna bring that up. Like I said, if you spray your brush with your Stay Spray, you'll get an even more dramatic um, look. So we're gonna blend this out, don't worry. It's just to really establish that pop of color here. And I'm pressing it. I'm not wiping, I'm pressing little presses. I'm gonna bring that in, okay? And I'm gonna wipe my brush. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do little taps and then swirls to make sure this blends. Oh, okay. I 
Okay, so you can see that like pop of color right in the middle, but it's not making my eye look smaller because I didn't bring that dark color all the way in. It's just on the outside, which I think is super fun. So the last thing you could do to for this top section, if you wanted, so say you were wearing this during the day with lighter colors or even with these colors, which I will, um, you could use a glitter. So <clears throat> something like this, this is a very glittery pressed powder. What's up, Killian? An error? Oh, I'll be right there. I'm almost done. So you could, you know, press your finger in here and you could tap that on. I'm actually not sure um, if I wanted to do this, but I'm just going to do it to show you. And then you just get this little bit of glitter. If you want to be super dramatic, which we'll do closer to Christmas and New Year's, um, they make a glitter glue. And what you'll do is you'll tap that onto a brush, probably more like your um, a flat brush, and you'd put some glue, and then you'd tap that onto your lid, and then you'd press your glitter onto that. And it's special glitter that's made to go around your eyes, because if you get real glitter in your eyes, you can cut your irises or whatever that is and go blind. So we don't use real glitter on our eyes. We use special glitter that's made for our eyeballs. Okay, so... Just a word of warning on that. I do not want to hear about that later. Okay, so I'm going to use a small brush now. This is the brush I use for my eyebrows, but you spray it, you clean it, and you can use it for your eyeshadow. So this is the cool part. Makes your eyes look really big. So I'm going to take my colors, the colors that I used already, and, um, and I'm going to put them underneath. So what we're going to do is blend out the colors that we... Um, we've been using. So I'm going to put the dark color down here and that's going to meet up there. <clears throat> Healing's mad because his show has an error so he's he'll be out here any minute now to tell me about it. So, I'll try to wrap this up. Okay, so then we're going to put Sabrina right here in this inside. Check that out. That's my favorite part. Alright, so you could do your black eyeliner in your waterline. Or you could just leave it. I would leave it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my smaller brush. So you could leave. I'm coming in a minute, babe. Um, you don't want to leave this like harsh line. So what you want to do is take a smaller brush and you want to blend that out. You want that to, like everything else, you want it to have a smooth feather. Okay, great. He did it. Which I kind of figured he could do. I mean, kids know how to use a remote control. We have to go to the store after this, so. Hopefully he's enjoying the TV while it lasts. Alrighty. So now you can see that the eyeshadow color underneath just blends out. Now if it's too dramatic for you, just dip your, your blending brush back in and go over it a little bit. So just give you a couple different options here. I don't mind my eyeshadow dark and dramatic, but I'm used to it. And I feel like you gotta just get used to it if that's something that you love and that you enjoy seeing on other people and you wish you could do, just do it. All right, that's it for the eyeshadow. So if that's what you're tuning in for, that is all done. But I am taking my black pencil and I'm lining my waterline. So I always teach people how to do this when I do their makeup. So I don't know if you can tell, but what that does is it makes your lashes look like they have connected to your eyes and makes them look bigger so you don't see this line underneath. Now for me, you can't really see that white line when my eyes are open anyways, but 
for some people you can really see that waterline <clears throat> and it just helps to cover it up what Killian what's up again I threw something on the floor if it's something I've said you could watch then you could watch it Yeah, that sounds fine. He's picking a new show. See, he doesn't need me. He's only four and he knows how to freaking control Amazon Prime TV. It's just ridiculous. That's not because I let him do it all the time either. Kids are just smart with technology. It's absolutely ridiculous, drives me. Oh, don't poke yourself in the eye with your mascara. Especially if you have contacts in. Oh, you guys. All right. I don't know where my eyelash curler is, but seriously, those things make a huge difference. I need to go buy a new one. Otherwise, my eyelashes stick straight out, and you can't see them when you're looking at me straight on, which is fine. Whatever. All right. I hope that that gives you some inspiration for um, how you could wear your eyeshadow this week for the Thanksgiving holiday if you're doing something fun and dramatic. And you want to feel beautiful. Um, if you don't have a light color, um, like I said, hopefully um, you can find one. You can also pick up a pencil like this um, and just kind of color that in. Um, but that's it. That's that's all I got for you guys. I'm gonna do my lips real quick. What, Killian? Killian, if you don't think it's good, just change it. Okay, then watch it. Uh, we're going to the store in a minute, so you could probably just turn it off. All right, there we go. Maybe check your lip colors before you apply. That does not blend. Blend does not match. Marek. So. If I was doing this again, no, so we're not already done. I will go with like probably like a more, um, I mean, you know, orange red color that I've complained about before, which I love now as an adult. Orangey red would be great to accompany this eye look. You could also just do like a um, warm gloss. Um, browns are super in. So just a little tip on that. So. Um, if you have questions, comments, thoughts, if you liked this video, leave a comment below or heart, share it, whatever you feel like doing. So thanks for your um, time. I'm always so awkward when I end these, but you know what? I am here and we did it and we look great and it's going to be a beautiful week for Thanksgiving and I hope you all have a wonderful one and I will probably be back on here in just a few days with something new. So have a great day. Bye guys. A oh, happy Friday.